In this lesson, I'll show you just how quickly and easily a pedestrian impact scenario can be set up in the virtual crash system. Let's start by making a simple road. And you do that by selecting the uh, road tool and simply click and drag and then right click. Let's go ahead and zoom out and adjust some of the road properties. We can make it longer by using these grips. We can add some curvature to the road. We can widen the shoulders. And there are lots of things we can do to adjust the road depending on our needs of the case. Let's go ahead and freeze it. Now let's add a vehicle. We'll try a couple of uh, different vehicles. One of my favorite, of course, is the uh, Lamborghini. Very beautiful model in the vehicle database. We'll change its color like so. Let's zoom in and look at that. Very nice. And let's also look at a Hummer. That's also another interesting vehicle to look at for pedestrian impact. Let's change its color. And let's set up our pedestrian, which is just simply a multi-body object connected with joints. So here's our pedestrian. And let's suppose this guy is running across the street. So we can adjust his how he's posed initially. And there are a number of different poses that come in the system. So here's a nice running pose. And let's give him an initial velocity. Let's say six miles per hour, jogging across the street. And you can see the interpositions are appearing automatically. It'll show you as a function of time where the object is in space. And let's start with a Lamborghini impact. Let's have them going at 10 miles per hour to start, just for fun. And again, you can see the interpositions of the Lamborghini appearing. And as you place the mouse cursor over the path, the system will show you where each object is relative to the other and allows you to quickly adjust your simulation on the fly to tune it to match the uh, conditions of your subject case. So you can see the system is updating the simulation as I move the initial position of the pedestrian around. And that would allow you, for example, to place him, the pedestrian, in an initial position needed to get the impact point on the vehicle for example. So let's go ahead and look at that. And you can see that the Lamborghini runs over the pedestrian. Now to make it more interesting, we can include interactions with the vehicle wheels. And there you can see the wheels bounce up as it contacts the pedestrian. Let's, uh, let's crank up the initial speed of the Lamborghini to 30 miles per hour. Now you can see at 30 miles per hour they don't, they just barely interact. 
of course, because I have the initial position of the pedestrian too far off the shoulder. So again, we can move the initial position of the pedestrian forward to ensure that the contact happens where we need it to happen. And here we see the pedestrian now vaulting in the air and the Lamborghini basically passing underneath. Very nice. And of course we can apply brakes on the fly at any point along the Lamborghini's trajectory by using this interactive icon control within the scene itself, which is a unique feature of Virtual Crash. Let's set the Lamborghini to the side for now. And let's look at the Hummer. So let's give the Hummer an initial speed of 20 miles per hour. We can give him a little steer using the steering icon. And you can see how that affects the path of the Hummer. Let's apply some braking. And again, we can move the starting point of the pedestrian such that we're guaranteed to get an impact at the needed location with respect to the vehicle. And we could see on the fly how the simulation updates to account for our change in positions, initial positions of our objects. This is more of a forward projection type pedestrian impact. Um, you would expect as much from the front profile of the Hummer compared to the Lamborghini. And that's what you see in the overall behavior of the simulation. No surprise. Let's just turn up the speed a little bit. Apply some heavier braking. And... Let's adjust our initial position of the pedestrian again. And you can see, of course, that the throw, total throw distance increases with the increase in pre-impact speed, just as you would expect. We have a nice article on our website studying, in particular, pedestrian impacts, comparing those simulated results with the virtual crash system to staged impacts at IPTM. Make sure you have a look at that. Thank you for watching.